All right, good morning, kiddos. We are about to start our clay project. We're doing um, our tile face. If you remember, you should have drawn an example of what you're trying to make. Now you're welcome to change things as you go, but you'll just need to change your drawing to reflect that. The last time you guys were in here, you should have gotten a tracer and you were laying it on top of your slab of clay, a long flat piece of clay, it's called a slab. So this is a slab construction project. Um, you were to trace it, check it with your ruler, and then use your paper clip to cut it out. Remembering that our paper clip should have one straight edge and then a loop around the back, so it's like a handle. Uh, that's gonna be useful later on. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to lightly draw where our facial features are gonna go. So that's the very first step you're gonna do. I typically like to start with the eyes, and the eyes need to go about halfway down your face. Okay, so I'm just drawing a light line because I can always go back and just erase it gently. I'm not cutting into it, I'm just slightly drawing into the surface here. Now, I can go a little bit lower if I want to. I, I kind of like where they are right here, just slightly above the middle spot. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to draw the shape of the eye that I wanna make. And this is not gonna be how it ends up looking because we are gonna be adding pieces of clay to this. This is an additive sculpture instead of a subtractive sculpture. We're not gonna be cutting into it necessarily. We're gonna be adding extra pieces of clay for it. So I've drawn where I want my eyes. Now I'm gonna go halfway between my eyes and the bottom of my square. And then this is where my nose is gonna go. So I'm just gonna lightly draw the shape of my nose. It's not going to be a triangle jack-o'-lantern nose. I'm gonna be adding a cone or a pyramid type shape. Um, or a triangular prism, something to this, this area right here that's gonna be three-dimensional. Everything is going to be added with clay. We're not gonna be just drawing into it. Um, and then following the nose, halfway between the bottom of the clay and the nose is going to be the mouth. So I'm just gonna draw some guidelines. That's all this is. You can also go up and kind of draw where your eyebrows are gonna go. If you have a mustache, you can draw that on there. That's fine. I think I'm gonna make this one a female version since I have this male version here. Um, you're more than welcome to add hair to it as well. Mine just has some big bushy eyebrows. Um, so with my eyes, I'm gonna take the little bits of clay and I'm gonna roll them into spheres, right? Three-dimensional circles. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this in half. Um, so I'm gonna take my sphere, I'm gonna check it on my face and see if it's about the right size. This looks good for me. I'm gonna now cut this in half using my paper clip as a tool. So it looks a little bit like a gumdrop. It should be rounded over the top or domed and then has a flat back on the bottom. So it's a semi, semi sphere, right? It's a hemisphere. There you go, hemisphere, um, like the globe. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score the backs of these and I'm gonna score where I'm going to attach them. Scoring is where you scratch the surface of your clay to help create a nice tight bond. So I'm gonna score. You can tell that I've gone in multiple directions. I make it pretty crumbly. Um, that gives it more um, grip. We call it tooth when we talk about like paper that has texture to it. So this texture is really gonna help connect our clay to a nice solid bond. And now I know this looks scary. I'm gonna be scratching the eye sockets where I'm gonna be attaching these pieces of clay. And I'm gonna use a little bit of water. I've got just a bucket of water. It's only about half, not even halfway full. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water on my fingers. I'm gonna dab it over the score marks. You don't need very much at all, but you're gonna do this on the clay slab and on the pieces you're attaching. And then you're gonna press it on. Sorry about that. We're gonna press it on to the clay. It may make a little squish sound and that is a good thing. That's those score marks attaching, kind of like that, just getting a real good grip. Now I've got my eyes attached. And now I can add eyelids. I can add um, eyebrows if I want to. I think I'm just gonna do upper eyelids. And so I'm gonna roll a coil. A coil is kind of like a snake. You just put it in your hand or put it on your placemat and rock back and forth. And then I'm gonna cut it to the length that I need. We want them to be pretty symmetrical, meaning the same. And then I'm gonna flatten this piece. Now, just like everything else, you're gonna to have to score this before you attach it. So I'm gonna scratch the back of my eyelids where I'm going to stick them onto my face. And then you're gonna scratch where you plan to place them. So I'm just gonna do that here and there. Now I am moving really fast. 
we're gonna work one step at a time, but I want you guys to kind of see the progress um, as it happens here. So I'm gonna lay this slightly overlapping my eye. I'm gonna rub it in to the clay. You can see that it's draped over the dome, that hemisphere that we attached. Do the same thing on the other side. And you're smoothing the back of the eyelid into the clay, but we're not smoothing it in over the dome. We want it to look like it's being overlapped. Okay, so now I have my eyelids. You can do lower eyelids if you want. I'm just gonna do upper eyelids. Um, and remember, it needs to reflect the expression that you have drawn on your clay um, drawing. So if it's excited, maybe the eyelids are doing something different than if they're sleepy or mad or winking, something like that. If you're having your eyes closed, you may not wanna do the hemisphere, the spherical shapes at all and just do eyelids, um, reflecting how you want the eyes to be opened or closed. Um, now I'm gonna make a nose. I'm gonna start with a coil and then I'm gonna make it wider at the bottom and more tapered at the end, kind of like a carrot nose for a snowman. And then I'm gonna press on the back Okay, so that's the shape that I have. I'm gonna lay it on my clay, right on that area that I drew. Okay, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, and you can always change the shape of this clay. It's nice and squishy, or plastic is the term that we use when it's flexible. And so now I'm going to score the back of my nose. Everything that you add to your clay needs to be scored. And the water that we use, if you're gonna go to high school ceramics or anything like that, um, you guys are using something called slip. And so we just call the water slip and it's acting as the glue. So if you make bigger projects, what you'll actually use instead of water is basically liquid clay, um, like muddy water is what it looks like. Um, I need to add some water to the back of my nose here. I've added it here and I'm going to stick that on and shape my nose however I like. Okay, so that's a good first day, I think. Eyes and nose. Um, then I, if you wanna go on and you wanna add eyebrows or if you wanna add a mouth and things like that, um, if you have time today, that's fine. You can carve into your mouth just a little bit. I wanted to show you that before I end this video. Depending on whether your mouth is open or closed, you may just need to be making some coils for your mouth, for lips and upper and lower lip. You're welcome to add a tongue sticking out. You can add teeth to it. If you want to carve into your mouth, that's where this loop comes in handy. And you can actually use that and push down into your clay to carve out a space. Now, I don't want you cutting completely through your clay because it might affect the integrity of the project and make it crack and fall apart. So I don't want you to cut all the way down to the canvas placemat. Uh, keep it pretty shallow. And if you change your mind and you want to fill this in, all you have to do is score it, roll a coil, score the coil, and patch it up. So if you change your mind, it's perfectly fine. Um, this is kind of an experimental day to see what you like. And if you don't like your eyes and nose that you've made, you can just tear those off too. Just try to keep your square in nice shape so that you can continue to build on it and we don't have to re-roll the slab. That's what's gonna end up taking the most time. So you wanna use this time wisely to build your facial features change them if you like. Like I said, they'll come off pretty easily right now. Um, you can smooth this over and try again if you don't like it. Um, all right, let's get everyone started. <laughs> 